Jack Randich for Romeoville High School Television, and it's signing day here at Romeoville. First one up, Kaylee Rice. Kaylee, sign in with, for soccer at uh, Trinity International University. How do you feel? Um, I'm excited for going to college and continuing my soccer career there. And, and what do you plan on majoring over at Trinity? Um, exercise science and kinesiology. Very good, very good indeed. Mom, how's it feel to see your daughter sign? I'm just really very proud of everything she's accomplished. She's great. <laughs> How many hours would you say you've uh, gone to games over? Millions, I can't even add it all up. It's since she's been playing since she was four years old, so it's just gonna keep going, we're so excited. How about you, Dad? How do you feel about uh, Kaylee signing? So excited, so excited, so. <laughs> yeah, if you were. Well, Kaylee did it. The talent, she's an extremely bright student, but these two parents and this whole support system she's got behind her helped push her along the way too. It really helps to have a good support system and a great mom and dad. Congratulations, Kaylee. Congratulations, mom and dad. Thank you. On to the next one. Amiri Buchanan just signed for Illinois State University. Amiri, what do you plan on majoring over there at Illinois University? I plan on majoring physical education. A teacher, excellent. Uh, Amiri signed uh, for boys track, uh, what, uh, shot put and uh, discus, correct? Yes, sir. Well, I can tell you we're very proud of you. We're really uh, enthused and it's been great to see you play. Uh, Mom, how's it feel to uh, see Amiri sign today? It feels absolutely fantastic. Um, Amiri keeps me humbled and amazed as a parent, and I'm just very proud of the young man and the athlete that he's become. As are all of us. Dad, how does it feel to see your son sign today? It's definitely a proud Papa moment. Uh, very happy for my son and excited for what he has coming uh, to, for him in college. Coach Harper, you've had this young man for four years in your uh on, on track and field. What did you see in him initially that led us here today to this signing? Well, I saw that he was a good athlete in middle school and placed, uh, qualified for state meet there and then first year when he came in as a freshman he was a hard worker and it just improved from there and he's worked hard with his uh, throwing coach, Coach White, over here and she saw a lot of spark in him too. Amiri is definitely a hard worker. I, I was his personal finance teacher, and, and he was an excellent student as well. Polite, kind, considerate. Uh, Romeoville High School really produces some wonderful people, but it wouldn't have been possible with the, the family that Amiri has here today. I'm here with Shana K. Bordas, and she just signed with Illinois State University uh, for competitive cheer. Yes. Congratulations, Thank Shana. Thank you. How does it feel to sign for Illinois State? It feels great. I'm really grateful for my teammates and my coaches for helping me shape up to be the athlete I am today. I wouldn't be here without them. We had uh, quite a team. I understand we uh, qualified for state for the first time, and I can't even remember when. That, ha that, that was really exciting for all of us here. Uh, what do you plan on majoring over at Illinois State? Biological sciences and zoology. Wow, wow. Coach Kinder, yeah. what, what did you see in Shana over the years that led us here today? So we were actually really lucky because Shana's a four-year varsity athlete and coming in, she was already a strong athlete, but just seeing how she's grown as an athlete and a person has been awesome. She's been a rock for our team. And um, athletically speaking, she's one of our top athletes. She's received SPC All-Conference two times MVP. And uh, we're just really excited to see where the next step takes her. I'm really proud of you. Absolutely fantastic. Mom, I'm going to hand you the microphone. How does it feel? I mean, you're here watching your daughter sign for Illinois State University. How do you feel? Very, very proud, very proud. Of course, I'd like to thank the coach, especially Coach Kinder, just like she said, four years varsity in RHS. Very proud, very proud. And I know my daughter will be okay in ISU because of all the preparation here. And thank you, RHS. 
Yeah, I think the same thing. You know, I'm happy, I'm proud, and very happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing a theme going on here. Everybody's happy and proud of Shana. Congratulations, Shana, once again. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. We're all thrilled for you. Sam Keppel just signed for what university? Coe College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Wow. And what do you plan on majoring over there? Uh, kinesiology with an emphasis in secondary education, so a PE teacher. Fantastic. Dad, how does it feel to see your son sign today? It's a great feeling, and uh, we're very, very proud of him. He's uh, uh, done great academically, and that's, that's uh, put him through uh, uh, tremendously with the school and uh, gotten him very far at this point. Well, he's been a commentator for RHS TV a year or two based on his sports knowledge. Um, fantastic tennis player, uh, morning announcement guy. Um, it's just been a pleasure having you here at Romeoville. It's, it's wonderful to see our students excel not only uh, on the court, but in school as well. Congratulations, Sam. We're all proud of you. This is absolutely fantastic. As one of Corinne's uh, teachers, it's been a pleasure to have her in class. It's awesome to see her excel in volleyball. She was a setter at Romeoville High School. She's not much for talking on camera, nor are her parents. So I'm gonna fill you in a little bit on Corinne. Uh, like I said, she's a setter. She's signing for Coe College, and she plans on majoring in business and economics. Uh, in addition to that, Corinne is our very own valedictorian. Corinne, I can't tell you how proud we are because you have excelled in, in more ways than I can imagine. Uh, I mean, I was proud of you when you got valedictorian, and valed I was proud of you when you got valedictorian, and now here we are uh, signing with Coe College. Uh, this is just absolutely fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. On with the next athlete. Mackenzie Blizniak just signed for Rockford University. Oh, awesome, awesome. How's it feel to sign? Um, I'm really excited. I'm really thankful for everybody that's been a part of this journey, especially my parents, especially my dad. He's had my back through everything. And my high school coach, Coach I, he really pushed me to get, get this going and get it ready. And I'm, I'm really thankful for everybody. Well, we've been watching you play for years. Uh, you play middle for uh, volleyball. Yes. Uh, fantastic to be able to sign. Uh, what do you plan on majoring over there? Um, I'm going to major in nursing. Helping people. You can't ask more than that. Dad, how's it feel? I'm going to turn the microphone over to you. How's it feel to see your daughter here today signing? Uh, I'm extremely proud of her. She's worked very hard over the last few years to get where she is. Uh, thank you to her coaches, Coach B, Coach Bach, especially Coach I for helping her out, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, college has for her. Well, I can tell you that all of us here at Romeoville are very excited to see as well. Uh, you wouldn't be here today if you didn't have such great, great uh, parents to help push you along, a wonderful coaching staff, uh, uh, a great opportunity here, and now the world is your oyster. Congratulations. Lexi Zeta just signed with St. Xavier University. Lexi played volleyball here at Romeoville High School and she was she played right side. Lexi, how's it feel to sign today for St. Xavier University? It feels great. I'm so excited to play college volleyball and I can't wait for the season to start. And uh, what do you plan on majoring over there at St. Xavier? I'm planning on majoring in psychology with a minor in bio. Does that mean you're going to come and analyze me I've got a problem folks dad how's it feel your daughter signing today I'm very proud of her it's been a long journey but fantastic how many games would you say that you and your wife have uh, gone to uh, 
oh my gosh, hundreds and hundreds. But it's been fun. Can't, I, I don't think we missed any. It was great. Mom's not talking because she's so tired after all those hundreds and hundreds of games, getting up at 5, 6 in the morning to get her to the bus, to get her to the tournaments. It takes great parents to produce wonderful students and athletes like this. Congratulations, Lexi. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. This is really a great day to be a Spartan. We're here with Brandon Stern. He just signed for Concordia University in Chicago, and he played volleyball here at uh, Roweville High School. Uh, Brandon, how does it feel to uh, sign for uh, Concordia University? Uh, it feels really exciting. Uh, I'm excited to start the next chapter in my life, uh, continue my volleyball career there, and hopefully uh, put my best forth there as well. Uh, what position did you play at volleyball here? Uh, I was kind of all over the place. Freshman year, I started out as a middle blocker. Then I went to right side my sophomore year, outside hitter junior year, and then back to right side and setter this year. So, You're right. You've been all over the place. Uh, what do you plan on majoring over there? Uh, I'm going for a Bachelor of Science in Biology, along with a pre-pharmacy track as well. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Dad, you're here. Your son is signing going to a great university. How do you feel about that? I'm excited for him. I, I, I'm so proud of the kid. He's done everything he's wanted. He's accomplished a ton of stuff. Couldn't be more prouder. And then Brandon, pass this over to your mom and ask her the same question. Um, same as my husband, very proud. He's excelled in the classroom, on the court, in multiple sports. So he's always wanted to play volleyball in college and now he has that opportunity. So we're very excited for him. I'm going to get up over here. I want to talk to one of my favorite coaches, Coach Fehrenbacher. Yes, Jack. This young man is signed. What did you see in him that led us up today? Oh, Brandon has a tremendous work ethic, ethic um, both on and off the court. And I saw it from sophomore year when I pulled him up and even as a freshman. So I'm really proud of him. We got a fantastic student, a fantastic athlete, a phenomenal coach, some great parents. All these tools lead us here today. Congratulations, Brandon and Mom and Dad. It's a great day to be a Spartan. Julio Cahigas just signed for John Logan College. How do you feel, Julio? I feel great. It's a long time. Come a long way. Hard work. Paid off. Baseball. America's pastime. You've been talking baseball. I mean, how many, I've had you in class a few times, and you love baseball. You, you play hard, you play good, and I am very proud of you, as is all of Romeoville High School. How about you, Dad? How does this feel to have your son sign today? I'm very excited and proud as a dad. I mean, he's done a lot of hard work, uh, even graduated six months early. Uh, very, very proud. Fantastic. Julio, pass this over to your mom. She's going to answer the same question. Very proud of Julio, of everything he's accomplished. Um, his goal was to graduate early, and he did. He accomplished that. And uh, just proud of everything he's done. He's a very hard worker, and everything he does with school, sports, and just being a good son. Well, I have to tell you, you've raised a fine young man. It was a pleasure to have him in class. It was a pleasure to watch him play. And it's just phenomenal to see him go on and take those talents over to the college level. Congratulations to all of you. Anthony, you just signed for Harper College. Congratulations. Thank you. And you play boys soccer. Correct. How's it feel to sign for Harper College today? It's a very exciting moment. New opportunities. I can't wait to start. A uh, new, new level excited and see what I can do in the next level for college. And uh, what do you plan on majoring over there at Harper? I plan on majoring in criminal justice and would like to be a detective in the future. Fantastic, fantastic. That means if he ever pulls me over while he's a police officer, you know, I got a, I got a break coming to me. I hope I was a good teacher. <laughs> Mom, how does it feel to see your son sign? Hand us over to your
Uh, I hold one for myself. Yeah. He go, he go to the, in the college. Yeah, it's good for, for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stand up here and talk to Coach Serencioni. I am saying that right, Coach, ain't I? Ain't I? I'm a teacher, am I not? You are. <laughs> uh, Coach, what did you see in Anthony that led him here today? Had a great senior year, became our all-time goal scorer single season with 28 goals, and got the most points for a season with 60, so he will be going on our record board come in the fall. So had a monster senior year and had a great career in four years, so very proud of him. Absolutely fantastic. The coach is proud of him. I'm proud of him. Romeoville High School is proud of him. Mom's proud of him. Even his brother's proud of him for once. This is a fantastic day for Anthony and a great day. Okay, I'm here with two of our cross country runners. We got Eduardo Fulgencio and we got Darielle Alonzo along with Coach Mangi. And uh, Eduardo signed with Illinois College and Darielle signed with Joliet Junior College. Eduardo, how does it feel to sign? Pretty good. <laughs> what do you plan on majoring over there? Uh, chemistry Engineering. Fantastic. And how do you feel? How do you feel about signing today? Uh, I feel really excited to see what the future holds. And what do you plan on majoring in? Uh, mathematics and computer science. Absolutely fantastic too. Coach Mangi, uh, what did you see in these two young gentlemen uh, over the years that led us here today to them signing? I'm going to hand you the microphone and you can talk right into it. All right. Um, I'm ecstatic that they're going to continue their running careers. Um, biggest things that they bring to the team and have brought to the team is their dedication. I mean, they're every single day, never missing a practice, unless it was something extremely important. Um, and their work ethic, they're extremely hard workers, which you have to be with running. It's a very rigorous sport, so um, never complained. Um, yeah, worked hard every single day, and they accomplished some huge goals because of it. So, And obviously they learn to have the passion and love for it that I have, and that's why they want to continue it in their college career. And that makes me very happy and proud. So I can't wait. I'm going to try to still go watch them run in their collegiate. You know, they're not too far. Well, Eddie's kind of far. But <laughs> we'll see. They travel. So try to keep watching their success and definitely communicate with them and see how they're doing. So That's wonderful. I don't know if you noticed, gentlemen, but I am a former cross-country runner. To this day, I cannot walk upstairs. I have to take them two at a time. Sometimes I gotta run up them, which just means that a cross country to sport really makes you wanna drive forward all the time. And I can see in your futures, two successful fine young men who are gonna continuously strive to drive forward in life. Congratulations to both of you. It's just wonderful to see you up here today. Jacoby Jones just signed for Benedictine University for boys track. He ran the 400 here at Romeoville High School. Jacoby, how does it feel to sign for Benedictine? Here, take the mic, my friend. Pretty good, I guess. I'm glad to move up to the next level and continue running. And what do you plan on majoring in? Psychology, you know. Mom, how does it feel to see your son sign today? It's a pleasure. It's nice to see him going, going on to the next chapter of his life. I can tell you, it's exciting as a parent. I'm going to turn this over to Coach Harper. Coach Harper is going to tell us all the great qualities that he saw in Jacoby that led us here to this uh, signing for Benedictine University. Pass that over. Jacoby has a lot of good qualities. Um, he's outgoing, always in a good mood, great smile, and he's a hardworking young man. And He'll be successful at the next level, no matter what he does. We got a great coach, a wonderful, loving mother, a fine athlete, and a good student. What more can anyone ask? So Fernando Armador, Amador just signed for uh, Judson University. Soccer player, my friend. Great to see you on the field. Great to see you up here signing. Uh, how's it feel to sign? Oh, I'm excited. You know, it's a next step in my life. You know, 
it's gonna be like a it's a great opportunity too like because i'm also going to be majoring in architecture and their architecture program is really um like a good program so i'm very excited yeah i hear they're one of the top notch universities for architecture dad how's it feel to see your son sign today i feel great uh very proud of him and uh, i hope good things for him uh, Life is good. Life is very good. Uh, Coach Serencioni, I'm going to turn the mic up to you, over to you. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, the qualities that you saw uh, in our fine athlete here uh, that led him up to today? Uh, just the ultimate competitor, nice kid, works hard, and going to do great things at Judson, did great things at Romeoville, great teammate, great te technically, tactically. So could have a big future ahead of him and it's gonna be exciting to watch him at the next level so very proud of him and excited to watch the journey over the next four years we saw your journey these four years your next four years are all up to you my friend and I have no doubt that you'll be successful congratulations uh, it's once again <laughs> God I love being a Spartan Ashley Ziprich just signed for University of Colorado for band. What instruments do you pay, play? I play the euphonium and bass trombone. Fantastic. And what are you majoring over there at University of Colorado? I'm going to be majoring in music education. That is a wonderful field. We need good music educators. They're hard to come by. So how do you feel? Um, I'm really excited to start to do what I know I want to do with my life. It's always good to fulfill your dreams. Mom, you're, you're, you're beaming here. This is your baby girl. How do you feel seeing your daughter sign today? I think she made the right choice and I'm very excited for her. And how about you, Dad? We're very proud of uh, her accomplishments. As are all of us here at Romeoville High School. Uh, Mom, Dad, you did a great job. I'm sure you have, uh, you, you had, you put forth a considerable amount of time, money, and effort to uh, help push her along in this wonderful career choice. Uh, we are very proud of you here at Romeoville, and uh, congratulations and good luck in everything you do over at the University of Colorado. Kelvin Asamoah just signed for Illinois Wesleyan. He played football for us here at Romeoville High School. I've heard your name announced a few times over the loudspeakers during those football games, my friend. How does it feel to sign for Illinois Wesleyan? It feels pretty good. And what do you plan on majoring over there? Accounting. Accounting, very good, very good. Mom, I see you over there. This is a big moment for you. Your baby has signed. How do you feel? I feel great about it and I believe in him, he, he will do well. I think you're right. Coach, Coach Travato here. Uh, Coach, what did you see in our friend over here that led him up to signing today? So Calvin was one of our most talented football players, but uh, not only was he talented, he's a leader of our program. Uh, the guys looked up to him and I think he's going to do real, real well at Illinois Wesleyan. We look forward to see what he's doing. Well, he really stepped up on the field. He stepped up as a student. And now it's time to step up to the next level. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen uh, quite a number of athletes today sign uh, some very fine young men and women who worked very hard these four years. Uh, Romeville High School and Valley View School District have worked, uh, put a lot of money into the programs here to ensure that our students are successful in the classroom and on the field. Being on the field gives them opportunities for these wonderful scholarships that they're getting. And, uh, and today was a testament to not only Romeoville High School, but to the wonderful parents who raised these fine young men and women. And uh, I can't tell you how grateful we all are to see people succeed in this school. Uh, congratulations to you. Congratulations to everybody we've talked to today. This is really a wonderful day for Romeoville High School and Valley View.